Alright, we are playing a book, a mission out of the Battle Missions book. We are playing the Tau mission, Vertical Envelopment, which is meant to simulate a Tau ambush of an enemy convoy. And the special rule, Air Mobile, allows skimmers to be placed in reserve and come in from the enemy table edge. I am using that with part of my forces here broadside up here, here, over here, and fire warriors ready to move to counter any marines that are forced out of rhinos. To make use of the air mobile rule, I've placed two fire warrior teams in devilfish in air mobile and a piranha with fusion blaster targeting ray and disruption pod as well as a twin-linked fusion blaster crisis suit. Today I'm going to be playing against Chuck and his space wolves, including the Great Wolf, Logan Grimnar, and that scallywag, Lucas the Trickster. A land raider full of Wolfguard, which counters troops, a Laz Cannon Predator, a Vindicator, and two Rhinos, one with Blood Claws, one with Rhinos. And they are masked to hit my right flank. But on a two or more, I get the first turn. Chuck, good ambush. Let's see. All right, guys, uh, Loki here. I'm uh, holding the camera for uh, Pete and Chuck. Uh, Space Wolves did manage to seize the initiative, and they move forward in uh, standard 12-inch uh, Pretty much movement went straight forward, kept the land raider moving forward, and pivoted on side again. Um, open fire on these uh, units over here. Uh, demolisher shot landed right here, put a direct hit on top of these guys, but the cover save managed to save them, uh, even from three wounds. And then the uh, predator with the annihilator pattern did manage to pop a shot on this guy right here in the uh, ruins. But uh, rocking the cover saves, Pete has managed to stave off any casualties from first turn. So we'll come back to you with the uh, bottom one. Okay guys, bottom one here. Um, after weathering several, several railgun fires, um, over here the poor predator in the background there is wrecked. Unfortunately a last, or, excuse me, railgun fire uh, dropped down. The Vindicator escaped being seen by a, a pesky pillar over here, and so unfortunately a broadside expended marker lights to become BS5 with a twin length railgun and still managed to miss. Um, so, dice look are not looking like they're on the Tau side right now. Um, over here, had a few uh, Tau Fire Warrior teams cruising uh, cruising along in the Pathfinder Devilfish. Uh, the Fire Warrior, uh, excuse me, the suit team with the commander over there uh, jumped forward past the crater and moved forward. Uh, excuse me, that is not the commander, that's just a model. Uh, commander is over here as a part of this squad, which is still alive, uh, pumped up a few shots and ran away from the large scary blast. So, um, other than that, that looks like uh, all that happened turn one, so we'll see what the wolves can do for top of two. Hey guys, uh, back to bottom of two over here. Uh, Land Raider has split off as well as the rhinos uh, kind of booked it. Uh, Land Raider did make a few pot shots, was unfortunately out of range to put any shots on the suits over there, but did make a multi multi shot against here, which unfortunately did not do anything of importance. Uh, two rhinos moved up. Unfortunately, their smoke has been expended, so there's not much protecting them from the elements of a Tau fire. Uh, Vindicator fired over here. Unfortunately, the blast scattered from this guy off to the side over there and did nothing. So, um, I guess that's all we got here. So, bottom of two coming up. Hey okay, guys, welcome back to bottom of two. Uh, eventful turn for Tau, bringing on a... Um, Piranha back there, which unfortunately missed its shot against the Land Raider. Uh, a Devilfish with uh, Fire Warrior Squad coming in. However, unfortunately it immobilized on the sandbags underneath, so it's going to stay there for just a little while. Um, firing phase opened up a shit ton of shots, um, destroying one of the Rhinos and obliterating Lucas's squad down to Lucas himself and two regular guys on a crater. Um, and a rhino over here that is immobilized and weapon destroyed. Um, Pathfinders are kind of staring down an assault over here. We're not sure, but uh, we'll see what happens. Looking at the battlefield, though, we've got uh, two Pathfinder, 
two Pathfinder Devilfish with Fire Warriors skirting up the left flank and avoiding some of that assault. So we'll see what uh, Chuck can bring on top of three. So see you then.